effects of NMC memorandum discussed. The office memorandum 3rd February 2022 states that guidelines for determination of fees and all other charges in respect of 50% of the seats in private medical institutions and deemed universities governed under the NMC Act 2019. Effects of NMC Memorandum It has been decided that the fees of the 50% seats in the private medical college and deemed universities should be at par with the fee in the government medical colleges of that particular state and union territories. If this is implemented, the fee regulatory authority to decide ceiling for security deposit or caution deposit, and also hostel rent to be determined by fees regulatory authority. Let's see the effects on private colleges. Let's consider the current scenario in Telangana. So the government college fees is 10,000 to 20,000 and the private college's A category fees is 7 lakh to 7 lakh 50,000. And if NMC memorandum is implemented, then the government quota seats fees in private colleges will be reduced to same as government colleges fees. Private colleges A category fees is 10,000 to 20,000. In order to accommodate this loss of revenue from fees, the private colleges might increase B category, NRI and institutional quota fees. If we consider the current scenario in Andhra Pradesh, the government college fees is 10,000 to 15,000 and the private colleges A category fees is 4 lakh to 4 lakh 50,000. If NMC memorandum is implemented, the government quota seats fees in private colleges will be reduced to same as government college fees and the private college A category fees is 10,000 to 15,000. So, in order to accommodate this loss of revenue from fees, the private colleges might increase BCAT, NRI and institutional quota fees. If we consider the current scenario in Karnataka, the government college fees is 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000 and the private college's A category fees is 7 lakh to 7 lakh 50,000. If NMC memorandum is implemented, then the government quota seats fees in private colleges will be reduced to same as government college fees and the private college A category fees is 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000. To accommodate this loss of revenue from fees, the private colleges might increase BCAT, NRI and other quota fees. Now let's look into the effect on deemed universities. Let's consider a current scenario, for example, Sri Ramachandra Medical College Chennai. If we consider general medicine, there are 20 seats under management quota and the fee structure is 27 lakhs. And there are about 4 seats in NRI quota and $2,25,000 is the fee structure. If NMC memorandum is implemented this year, it needs to offer at least 50% as per the state government college fees, that is 30,000. So seat matrix might change like seats for 30,000 fees, 12 seats. Management quota, we have about 8 seats or 10 seats. NRI quota, 4 seats or 2 seats. Heavy increase of fee in management and NRI quota to accommodate the loss of revenue from fees. So here is the effect on total counselling. As some seats in private deemed universities are available at very low fees, lot of good rank candidates might opt for good deemed universities. There will be total increase of seats for good rank candidates and decrease of seats under management and NRI quota. And the All India quota cutoff increases and the management and NRI quota cutoffs decreases. So here is a note, this is a speculative analysis on assumptions that bill is going to be implemented this year.